when compared to Raptor engines, SpaceX's next rocket engines will be superior and more affordable. Hello and welcome to The Untold once again, where we bring you the most recent news on Elon Musk and his enterprises that are worth several billions of dollars, as well as news about space and the most recent advancements in science and technology. However, before we get started, make sure that you click the bell icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of the incredible videos that we upload. In the past 10 years, technological progress in the space industry has accelerated dramatically. Space exploration is becoming more and more recognized in the private sector because to business moguls like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. Fundings and amazing engineering advancements were mostly responsible for making this possible. These days, most space organizations consider it a given to enter SSO, Sun Synchronous Orbit, or LEO, Low Earth Orbit. It appeared unthinkable a few decades ago, but we have now placed satellites around the Earth, Moon, Mars, and Saturn. Mars colonization may seem like an impossible idea, but it is feasible with the right planning, research and development, as well as simulations and experiments. Greater efficiency and size are needed in rocket engines to travel farther. Because of its difficult yet astounding engineering, SpaceX's rocket engine stands out. Before delving into the new rocket engine, let us first define what a rocket engine is and how it works. Rocket Engines 101 According to Newton's third law of motion, there is an equal and opposite response to every action which governs how rockets work. High temperature, high pressure exhaust gases are permitted to expand in a nozzle of a rocket after the fuel is burned in the combustion chamber. As a result, a rocket lifts because of the development of a thrust in the opposite direction to the exhaust gas flow. The propellant in liquid form is used in liquid fuel rocket engines. The propellant consists of the rocket's fuel and oxidizer. Stated differently, propellant equals fuel plus oxidizer. The propellant passes via two different kinds of combustion chambers. Main combustion chamber. This is done to increase fuel efficiency and such engines are extremely difficult to construct when compared to conventional rocket engines. Pre-burner Pre-burners are further subdivided into two types. A. Fuel-rich provides power to the fuel turbo pump. B. Oxidizer-rich provides power to the oxidizer turbo pump. The main combustion chamber The turbo pumps deliver propellant to the main combustion chamber from the fuel and oxidizer tanks. To compensate for the large quantity of heat generated during combustion, the gasoline from the tank is first circulated around the nozzle. This is known as regenerative cooling. The fuel and oxidizer then reach the fuel control valve, which supplies fuel to both pre-burners. Partially combusted fuel and oxidizer are then injected entirely gaseous into the main combustion chamber. A spark igniter then ignites the mixture in the chamber. The combusted product is allowed to expand in the converging-diverging nozzle, which generates the thrust required to propel the rocket forward. The technology behind Raptor engine. Raptor, a 3.1 meter tall and 1500 kilogram piece of fantastic engineering and development that costs more than $2 million, works inside SpaceX's Starship and Super Heavy. The Starship is intended to execute Earth orbit satellite delivery, long-term human moon exploration, and Mars colonization. The Raptor engine is fueled by cryogenic liquid methane as fuel and liquid oxygen LOX, as an oxidizer. Raptor's early models proposed using liquid hydrogen LH2 and RP1 kerosene as fuel, but for a variety of reasons, methane was chosen. Methane, which is easy to produce using Martian resources, was another reason SpaceX chose methane for Raptor engines. A Raptor engine has a chamber pressure of 300 bar and produces a thrust of 2,200 kilonewton. In addition, the engine has a specific impulse, change in momentum, weight of fuel consumed, ISB of 330s at sea level and 380s in a vacuum. In comparison, the world's largest rocket, Saturn V, which launched humanity to the moon, had a specific impulse of 263 seconds at sea level and 421 seconds in a vacuum. Both rockets have the ability to restart and throttle. SpaceX employs Inkel and Super Alloys in the production of Raptor. Turbo pumps and many other complex injector components are 3D printed, increasing precision tremendously. 
Instead of the Pintel injectors used on SpaceX's Merlin rocket engine, Raptor engine uses coaxial swirling injectors to allow propellant to the combustion chamber. Raptor was originally intended to propel the upper stage of the Mars rocket, but SpaceX revealed in 2014 that it will be utilized on both stages of the rocket. The SpaceX Raptor engine already provides more than double the thrust of the Saturn V to the SpaceX Super Heavy Starship. The SpaceX 1337 was mentioned in Walter Isaacson's biography of Elon Musk as having key breakthroughs beyond the SpaceX Raptor. Elon Musk and SpaceX are considering drastic measures such as removing the entire hot fuel gas manifold and combining the fuel pump and the main chamber injector. Elon Musk stated to his team, we are on a deletion rampage. All suspect tubes, sensors and manifolds were removed. Elon has also considered eliminating the entire skirt of the booster. The performance of the SpaceX Raptor engines is currently excellent, but LET 1337 will have higher chamber pressure, allowing for additional thrust. SpaceX's LET 1337 engines will be simpler, lighter, and less expensive. SpaceX will most likely be able to produce them at 10 times the capacity from the same sized factory that will now produce 4,000 Raptor engines per year. Yellen has stated that the Starship upper stage will have nine engines, up from the current six engines. A future SpaceX Starship could include three more Raptor vacuum engines for improved payload capacity. If each SpaceX Raptor engine currently costs $1 million, a Starship has nine engines, and having a Starship at twice the cost of the engines means a whole Starship costs $18 million. If each future SpaceX Raptor engine costs $500,000, a Starship requires nine engines. A whole Starship costs $9 million, which is double the cost of the engines. If each SpaceX 1337 engine costs $200,000, then nine engines on a Starship may bring the total cost of a Starship down to $3.6 million. If each SpaceX 1337 engine costs $100,000, then nine engines on a Starship may bring the total cost of a Starship down to $1.8 million. The SpaceX Raptor 3 was recently tested and it produced 18% more thrust than the Raptor 2. The Raptor 2 had 25% more thrust than the Raptor 1 and it was 20% lighter. It is preferable to have a lighter engine with the same or higher thrust. The SpaceX Raptors now have more thrust than the larger and heavier RS-25 engines that were used for the Space Shuttle and are still utilized for the SLS Space Launch System. Starship The upper stage of the Mars Exploration Rocket, Starship, has six Raptors, three of which are vacuum-optimized. Super Heavy The Super Heavy stage of the Mars Exploration Rocket was originally slated to carry 31 Raptors, However, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk said in a podcast that there may only be 28 Raptors in Super Heavy. The combined mass of the Starship and Super Heavy propellant is 4,800 tons, of which 78% is oxygen and 22% is methane. The estimated cost of fuel per ton of volume is $100. There's not much detail available for the new rocket engine, LET 1337, but we will keep you posted if there is an update. We sincerely hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel The Untold to see even more of our incredible videos.